Welcome to part six. My name's Blades, and well, today I'm going to do a little bit of texturing. Not in the way you probably think I'm going to do it. So, what we got so far? A nice little program that does well. That. Why is it gone white? Oh, who cares? I don't know. The things that Visual Studio Code will do to me help. Oh, there we are. That's all it does for me right now. I'll figure the white bit out later. So textures, let's get on with it. Uh, there we go. Don't need to test. What we need to do is get into Amber SL and get some texturing done for our models. Hmm. Yeah. We'll have a new folder. And we will call it Model textures yeah that'll do. in here we'll need a new file we'll call it texture dot h um, yep yeah. new file texture dot cpp Whoa, that was hard. Now, textures. Uh, quick thought on textures. You can make life difficult for yourself and decide that you wanted to make uh, a texture loader here. Um, no, no thanks. I am not a rep about to make my life difficult. If you've had a look at the structure of a PNG file at any point in your life, you'll know that it's structured oh yes oh boy is it structured do you want to write a loader for that well you can do but it goes beyond what i want to do in this program of uh development it goes beyond basic type of c plus plus it goes into some advanced things in c plus plus i'm not about to do that so this is how you make textures simple. First of all, you get yourself a header file. And you put in, guess what, Paragraph at once. And we've got namespaces, haven't we? Yeah. I've got namespace Amber. Nice name. And I've got namespace. Um, what did I call it? Model textures. That's how I do my namespaces. It keeps everything in the correct order. I've got a one unit. Oh, thank you. That's gone green again. So, model textures. Um, what we're going to put in here. We're going to put something called texture in here. Now, class texture. Okay. The capital T, please. It's a class. Oh, you want model textures, do you? Well, no, I don't. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you. That's what I want. Uh, end of a class has the semicolon. And the first thing I'm going to put in here is my variables as usual. You'll get used to me doing it this way around, so don't worry about it. I'm going to have an int. I'm going to have a member variable. And it's going to be called texture. This is going to really surprise you. ID. This is also going to surprise you after the VAO ID of last uh, episode. Um, but this is given by OpenGL. Um, so we're, we're just going to store it. Uh, that's all this class is going to do. I'm going to give the user a couple of things as well. Um, let's see, what can we call them? Yeah, we'll call the first one shininess. No. 
No. Damp. Dampening. Oh, that'll do. Damper. Shine damper. Um, we'll give them also the ability to sort out what kind of uh, reflections, reflectivity. There's a good word. Reflectivity. Now you can all possibly guess what those are for. Uh, shine damper just damps the shininess. Um, because textures can be from matte to gloss, I suppose. Uh, reflectivity, again, matte to gloss. Uh, how much light is reflected? How bright is that light that is reflected? That's, I think you, those two will mess around with those values, and I think I'll leave that to those two. So, into the public area of our class. Pop you down there. Um, yeah, we're going to need texture itself, aren't we? Now, normally, I put all the variables in here. Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to put an unsigned int. This is going to look very weird. Um, and I'm just going to call it ID. I'm not putting anything else. That's it. Don't want to. Ah, we'll have some... What's wrong with that? Unsigned int ID. Absolutely nothing's wrong with that. Okay, getters. Uh, setters. Those are your two primary areas. Oh, let's see. What should we do first? What should we do first? I think... I'll do the setters first because those are the important ones. So we are going to have void set shine damper. Makes sense. And it's going to be a float, obviously. We'll call it why not? Shine damper. Yep. That'll do me. And all that's going to do, I'm going to write the whole function here. I'm not going to bother with the uh, .cpp file for this. Uh, m underscore shine damper equals shine damper. That's it. That's all that function's going to do. Literally, it's going to be a setter. So these are very easy to write, aren't they? Um, let's see, reflectivity. Set reflectivity. It starts making more sense as you're typing it out because what you're doing is you're creating your own language in some respects um, and you're allowing common sense to override programming language. Because there's very little, all the blue bits are the program, programming language. Uh, variables are the programming language. These are variable types. Even those are variable types, really. Um, so all the blue bits are, there we go. All the blue bits are the C++. And all the rest of it is us. Think of it that way. Um, that's an easier way of putting it. Um, so whatever we put in is what we want. We don't need to worry about it. Reflectivity. Whoa, no, 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 no. But I call it relectivity because I was talking. Reflectivity. There we go. Nice. Even I can make mistakes when I'm talking over the top of my typing. Reflect. Ah, uh, reflectivity, thank you. Yeah, that's right. So those are your setters. There we go. We only need to set those two variables, but getters, we need to be able to get all of them. So these, again, take a 
standard type of format. It's going to be get uh, ID. Here's one. Open brackets, close brackets, and that is return. Dun dun dun. Keyword m underscore text string. ID. There we go. Again, I am not going to be using our .cpp file for this. There really is no need. Um, these are just straightforward getters and setters. So you just put get and then shine damper. There we go. And we just pop that in there and we return m underscore shine damper. Does it all for us? It's a rather simple system um, that I'm using within C++ uh, for storage. And it's all about storage and getting things stored correctly so that you can use them simply. Um, developing really your own language on how to handle things. So let's not get this one wrong. Reflectivity. Great, right this time, didn't I? Hope you realize I actually can't see the screen properly when I'm doing this. But, um, one of these days, I'm actually going to be able to buy myself a microphone stand that works. There we go. But Patreon may help me out there. I don't know. Uh, ID, shine damper, reflectivity. Looking good. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. That's texture.h. Wow. Again, as usual, I just copy it all. And I need that space at the end, please. Thank you. I've mentioned that that space is important. Uh, never given a good reason for it. It's, it is to do with compilers. And some compilers use that last space to put an EOF end of file marker in there. So that blank line actually is important, I found out. I did a little bit of research just to find out what the heck I was talking about. And I found out. Can we save? Yeah, we can. Happy. Yes, happy. Good, 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 good. Again, there might be, it, it needs to join itself up, so I'm going to leave them a line to do it in case it needs it. Include. And texture. Uh, Texture.h, thank you. It's starting to work properly for me. There we go. Don't need you lot there. Um, don't really need anything from there either. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> uh, namespace model textures, yeah. Um, that's its own member member of itself so we'll just do that go to the end and pop those in now why have i been messing around with unsigned ints and ints um reason being is opengl loves its unsigned ints and we as human beings just don't see it we just put ints in by automatic conversion I'm thinking that that's a bad idea. I'm thinking that's a very bad idea. So right now, right in front of your eyes, I'm going to make that an unsigned int. Why not? Indeed, why not? There you go. There's no harm in doing it. Yeah, it works just the same. Yeah, I think normally I don't because it makes my mind easier on other parts. But because this is now online and <laughs> basically you're watching it, <clears throat> grabs a cup of coffee. 
It might be better if I'm a bit more consistent this time round. Mm. Mighty fine coffee. So, for once in my life, I'm going to try and be consistent. And wouldn't you please say when I hit the button? No, you won't. Why not? Oh, this is a new... I've just downloaded this Visual Studio Code. And it's not really working the way I want it to yet. It's doing awkward things with my mind. Uh, deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, I'm breathing properly again. Here we go. Don't get excited. I get excited when I'm programming. So instead of doing a load of texture stuff, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, well, this is a texture. You're not doing anything. That's right. No, don't need to. Let's put a colon in. And of course, M underscore texture. ID is going to equal our ID. That's okay. Comma. And press the wrong key on the keyboard. M underscore shine is going to be mm, one. <laughs> Why not? One's a good, it's a float, it's a value, that'll do. Um, reflectivity. I will put as uh, none. It's a good number. There we go. No idea what to put in there, actually. I've just made that up on the spur of the moment. Don't care. Should work. Are these squiggly lines going? Yeah, they're all happy. So there we have our texture. It's um, fully done. It's uh, got values. We put some values in. Um, don't know if it's going to work or not. Don't really mind at this point. Uh, let me just put that header file up. So you've got your header file with the getters and setters. That does all the lifting and hard work. There's no calculations here. It's a storage of that ID that I'm after, and I'm going to give the user the ability to set and get these as well. So we can set a shine down from the reflectivity, which we will use. Don't you worry, we will use them. So we have texture. We have texture. We have texture CPP and texture H in model textures. Fantastic. What's the good of that? None whatsoever. Doesn't do anything. That's right, it doesn't do anything. And that's the whole point. Because what we're going to do next is we are going to build upon our model base to make a model that is now textured. And in the next episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to add a couple of files. Oh, wait a minute. Adding a couple of files, he says, not knowingly, may as well pop them in. Here we go. Uh, we have now got source, models, forward slash uh, model textures. And we have textures. Dot cpp go back up pop back slash in don't forget that causes errors uh, backslash source models forward slash whoa sugar don't do that models uh, model textures Textures and that's forward slash uh, textures. I've done it again, haven't I? Capitals, don't do capitals, please. I haven't done it in here, have I? No, I haven't. Good. Got worried for a minute then. There we go. I did it to our profile. 
I like the way it's called a dot pro and then it's a file so you call it a profile because <laughs> that's exactly what it is it's a profile of our setup so sources and headers have been added to we've now got textures into uh, amber sl our static library uh whilst i'm here i'm sick of looking at god knows what this is i really don't know what it is and it's to do with qt and i don't really need it i'm going to delete it this time round because we are now getting to a slightly larger file yeah don't need those static library now i can see everything yeah, that Unix bit at the bottom isn't important. That can be deleted, actually. That's to help with installing it on, on Unix. I don't think that's needed. Do I want to keep it in or do I want to take it out? I'm going to leave it in for now. Just because it's there. Um, so everything below that line probably is unnecessary. There we go. Make a line. Um yeah, that's actually my profile for Amber SL. It's looking good. It's starting to grow. It's going to grow quite a lot. Um, but it's looking good. We've got our mask, got our models. Our models are coming to an end. Once we have a model that's textured, I will leave models and we will go on to probably entities um, towards the final system because we built our models then. Hmm. That's looking rather good. I'm happy. So I'll see you in the next episode. Um, have fun, enjoy, and catch you later.